don't eat these sour candies, they'll burn a hole in your tongue. And everyone swore they knew somebody who like straight up hole in their tongue, had to go to the hospital, almost died. Everybody had that story, none of them were confirmed. Hi, I'm Josh Scherer, and I'm here to play Suck It Up. It's like never have I ever, never have I ever had a controversial food opinion. All I have are controversial food opinions. But for everything I have done, I have to eat one of these sour candies. As the questions get harder, the candies get more sour. Let's do this. I hate sour candy. My brother used to force me to eat warheads as a kid, so I'm going to do terribly. Never have I ever thought I could make a better grilled cheese than Gordon Ramsay. Well, I absolutely have thought that, so cheers. And not only did I think that, it's absolutely true. Gordon Ramsay, God bless him, made one of the worst grilled cheeses of all time. I have spoken to him in person. He was on my show last meal. YouTube's most controversial grilled cheese maker, Gordon Ramsay, welcome to the show. <laughs> you have to get that one in the end. You still got punk kids like me taking the piss out of a single grilled cheese you made, and I apologize officially for that. Yeah, you're like a sort of seventh kid I didn't know I had. <laughs> because you just come back and constantly irritate me. We hashed it out. He forgave me, I forgave him. This is a reference, of course, to the Delish video that I made where I made a much better grilled cheese than Gordon Ramsay, and it seriously is. The funny thing is though, he made another grilled cheese video to apologize and still didn't melt the cheese. This is redemption. A beautiful, amazing grilled cheese with shore rib. This man has like 21 Michelin stars or something. Can't melt cheese into grilled cheese. We don't know why. Gordon, shout out to you. The sour skittle, not very sour. I imagine it's a little bit of a warm up. I'm kind of scared for the ones down the road though. But now my palate's primed, like an aperitif. This is the Negroni <laughs> sour candies. Never have I ever wished I hadn't participated in a YouTube trend. What is a YouTube trend that I've participated in that I've regretted? It's honestly, there's a lot of regrets. Any time that I have been asked to dance, I have immediately regretted it. And it happens way more often than you think. <laughs> I don't know what's happening for the record. I'm very confused. I'm a chef. I know how to cook. I was a journalist. I wrote for magazines. I'm very proud of my career. And then you show up and someone puts an iPhone in your face and says, hey, you're going to hear this sound and you have to dance to it. Not in my skill set. Didn't put that in my resume. I don't even particularly enjoy doing it. I hardly do it at weddings. And now I have to do it on YouTube. Anytime you've seen me dancing, I apologize. You didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that. Stop making me dance. Ooh. I have to go ahead. That escalated so much quicker than I thought. <laughs> the other ones are more sour? How? <laughs> this is gonna be rough. Oh, oh, oh. Next question. Never have I ever had beef with another YouTuber. I have never had beef with another YouTuber. However, hear me out. If somebody wants to start beef, That'd be fantastic. Uh, Nick DiGiovanni, Joshua Weissman. I mean, let's start a little fake feud. It can be about browning birria before you make it. I, I strongly disagree with Joshua Weissman's technique. Is this how beef starts? I don't know how to start real beef, I'm sorry. You know, the cooking world, it's, how do you really start beef, if not for real beef? So no, I don't think I've ever had beef with another YouTuber, but if you hate me, DM me. I'm open to changing. I'm open to the fact that I'm wrong and that you should hate me. I just want you to like me. That's his whole job. That's it. <laughs> I feel weird throwing it. I've been instructed to. All right, never have I ever been starstruck. Oh, I am constantly starstruck. Padma Lakshmi, when she walked on the set when we did her last meal, she has been an absolute icon for 20 years. Uh, like a big professional role model for me. We had Tom Hanks on last meals, which was Unreal. I literally had to stare at myself in the mirror and go, you can do this, buddy, before he walked on the set. So I am constantly starstruck, but also at the same time that you kind of have to step up and be like, hey, I'm your peer today. But I'm constantly starstruck and I like being starstruck. I don't like the, <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's a roller coaster right now. It's transformed me back to childhood. I grew up in the peak era where we were like, don't eat these sour candies, they'll burn a hole in your tongue. And everyone swore they knew somebody who like straight up hole in their tongue, had to go to the hospital, almost died. Everybody had that story, none of them were confirmed. Ooh, I'm fighting, I'm fighting for my life here. 
Damn. Uh, I'm sweating from sour. Is that even science? This is sparkling, right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if the sour was doing something. <laughs> I thought I thought the sour maybe just like stripped my taste buds and it was tingling from flat water. So I'm like successfully being gaslit right now by the sour. I forgot to throw it. We're getting more comfortable throwing the cards. Never have I ever had a favorite between Rhett and Link. Still getting used to his head. Yeah. No, come on. You can't pick between your two large adult sons. That said, though. Rhett makes better barbecue than Link. We're about to revolutionize the practice of barbecue and by grilling up some delicious pork on some barbecue grills that you ain't even dreamt about. I can't pick between them. Come on, that's unfair. You know the deal. It's fun, I see the appeal of throwing the cards now. Never have I ever had a controversial food opinion. All I have are controversial food opinions. I just today was reminded of another one, that ketchup deserves to be on hamburgers. And I fully agree with that. Everything you say about food is controversial to someone. So yes, I have had many controversial food opinions. A hot dog is absolutely a sandwich. Cereal is soup. Boneless wings deserve to be called boneless wings, even though there's no wing meat in them. All I am is a ball of controversy. Please don't cancel me for that. I'm gonna stick with blue, I like blue. It's the only color that doesn't exist in nature and food. Amazing Josh, what about blueberries? What about blue corn and purple? Oh God. Oh, there's a bark from a tree in Mexico. I call it like Costa Azul or something. They sell tea out of blue. The blue spirulina, that's blue. There's a couple blue foods. I can't open my eyes anymore. I don't know what's happening medically to my body. We have a medic, medic! I mean, it, it is pretty sour. It gets sweet pretty fast too. It's kind of delicious. It's like when you strip a layer of paint off a car. It's my mouth right now. It's like raw hamburger meat up there. Never have I ever thrown up from something I cooked. I have never thrown up from anything that I've cooked. I simply am built different. I take a lot of risks with things that I eat. I've eaten raw chicken sashimi from restaurants in LA. It's illegal, so I won't say where. If you're fine assuming risks for yourself, to chase a fun experience, I will do that. And somehow, some way, it has given me an ironclad stomach to where I don't throw up. I've never even had a foodborne illness. The last time was probably at the Hokkaido Seafood Buffet that is now closed in Newport Beach, 2009. It's the last time I threw up from food. And yes, I remember, because it was horrible. You cannot imagine the horrors. That it, spray paint, the walls, the janitor walked it. I was already sitting on the toilet. I'm so sorry, but this is happening. I was sitting on the toilet and then projectile vomited. Something at the Hokkaido Seafood Buffet, something got me. And the janitor was right outside and he witnessed all the, the noises. It was like a gorilla giving birth. Horrible. But no, not from something I cooked. Never have I ever genuinely disliked a guest's food item on last meals. One, a last meal is very personal to everybody. Two, yeah, of course I've disliked different food items on their last meals. Brussels sprouts. We had a run of like three last meals guests in a row that all wanted Brussels sprouts. And I'm like, listen, I dig on some Brussels sprouts. This is your last meal and you could have asked for anything. I'm thinking about what I want. I want a carne asada burrito and I want a toothpaste tube full of foie gras torchon and I want to squeeze the foie gras onto the carne asada burrito. You could have asked for anything. We can make anything in the world. Padma Lakshmi had a nacho cheese fountain. You want Brussels sprouts? Give us something we can hit. Give us something fun. Corbin Blue asked for a curry sampler from around the world. We made A5 Wagyu bone marrow poutine. You're getting Brussels sprouts. Brittany Broski? I don't, I don't think me and Brittany Broski could have real beef. If you want to though, Brittany, I'm so down. So this right here is the Delish special. This is made right here in the Delish kitchen. This is designed to be the most sour candy in the world. And if somebody ever gives you something like this on Halloween, don't take it, kids. My body's on high alert. Your body knows something's wrong. It doesn't want to be there. It's like, everything's screaming, get it out, get it out. Ah, ah. 
That's way better than coffee though. I'm awake now. I am full, I am ready to start my day. I might start doing this every morning before the gym. That was the worst thing I've ever had in my life. I'm never going back to that. Um, I mean, one, thank you for the experience. I had a lovely time. Ugh, God, no, never. Well, that was absolutely horrifying, but you know what's not horrifying? The mythical cookbook available wherever you get books. And hey, if you like Skittles, we even got a recipe for Skittle milk French toast. It's really good. And it's not nearly as sour as that. It is actually pleasant. Thank you so much to Delish for having me and thank you all for watching and whoever is coming up next on Suck It Up, watch out for that one. I, you are not prepared for the tidal wave that is about to hit you. Bye. I feel like I waved, do I wave like a toddler? <laughs> Bye, mister. Are you my dad? <laughs>